This grain has a slightly irregular prismatic habit. It seems to be colorless, has a medium relief, and we can see multiple black impurities within the grain. If we rotate the table, we can see that the grain, in fact, has a distinct pleochrosen from colorless to reddish-pinkish colors. If we look at the grain under cross-polarized light, we can see interference colors of the first and second order, depending on the thickness. On the rim, where it's thinner, we see first order colors, and in the center, where it's a little bit thicker, we can see second order interference colors. If we rotate the grain under cross-polarized light, we can see that it is always extinct when it is oriented in a north-south direction, like right now, which means that it has parallel extinction. If we rotate the grain into a northeast-southwest orientation and we test for the elongation, we can see that the rims of the grain have white and gray interference colors of the first order now. If we put in our accessory plate, we can see that these colors change to orange or yellow of the first order, which means that the grain has negative elongation. Putting these observations together, the reddish pleochrosen, the black impurities, the parallel extinction, and the negative elongation, we can conclude that this must be an Andalusite grain.